Oh, yay! I'm here, I'm here. Hello everybody, hello, 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 hello. We are here for Witchcraft Wednesday, part three. Oh, what if it seems like only yesterday I started this. Oh, I feel a bit old. Hello everybody, who have we got? Hello there, hello Becky. Oh, you're saying good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Say hello if you're here, say hi, say hi. <gasps> And we've got more, yay! Hello everybody, hello, hello Stuart, hello Chelsea, hello Wayne, oh you're all here, lovely to see you, I'm very excited for today. I was saying that it feels like only yesterday since I started this, it feels a bit strange going on to the third one. Oh well, I can't wait for today, um, mostly because we're going to be doing a spell that I did a while back when I first kind of started to do... Um, all of this witchcraft, which was um, something to attract more friends. Um, and I think I mentioned this in my previous video um, la from last Wednesday, um, and it was talking about how after that, two days after that, I started getting contacted by people I hadn't spoken to in years. Um, old friends that I haven't even, you know, in not in a rude way, but sort of like not even spoken to or thought of. And then all of a sudden these lovely people just came out of nowhere. Um, so I wanted to share that with you guys today. Um, so a little bit of a recap before we go on to that spell. Um, I hope you've all got your, your things if you're joining in. You don't have to join in if you don't want to. Um, so I have my bay leaf, which is going to be the kind of um, the main key of this spell. Um, I've got my black pen because I could not find a gold one, uh, but black works anyway. I've got my rectangular paper right here. Um, I've got my tape and um, yeah, and I've also got my string and my gold ribbon. You don't need to have both. I just gave myself a bit of an option as we all should. Um, so yeah, what I wanted to start talking about first was uh, meditation. I wanted to speak about this last week, but I did not get a chance. I completely forgot about it. Silly me. Um, and that was how meditation is one of the reasons how you can centre yourself um, how you can um, make things a lot clearer for you and also make spells a lot easier and more precise to do because you are focusing your intent and your energy. Do we have any questions other than hello? <laughs> You're guessing just everyone saying hello, is it been a week already? And someone's asked, if, could you do a spell to regain conf confidence, please? That's yes. for Darren. Darren, yes, you can. Um, there are quite a few spells um, to gain strength and confidence um, and to bring that to you. You. Um, and I think that, I think to be fair, um, there are more spells on self-love and being able to think with a clearer mind. Anything that can bring you into being a stronger person, um, you can actually make at home. And maybe that's an idea for next week's spell is a self-confidence one, which would and, be quite uh, cool. Lisa Marie uh, Crow said, um, you look lovely, Mary. Oh, thank you very uh, much, Lisa. You, you have helped, uh, you've helped her to refine uh, her interest after five five years so thank you oh well well lovely i'm glad we are on this journey together lisa that's that's really lovely um i did get a few comments just of people saying hey you know it's really nice to see um somebody talking about this but it's also so lovely to hear um your stories and your your own journey um so yeah i, I love seeing that um so if you do have any you know um, different things that you want to say or different things that you want to do then um, yeah just let me know let me know your ideas and and anyway as we were saying <laughs> as we were saying as just say just say just just don't let anyone know I'm okay here. right just, just say, I'm just, just say, I'm gonna turn this light on by magic I'm gonna turn this light on by magic Oh, hang on. Oh, never mind. I'm going to turn this light on by magic. Turn this light on by magic. <laughs> right, yeah. 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 And... Oh, oh. <laughs> hang, on. hang on. One more, one more. One. Okay, right. We're going to turn this light on with magic. Yeah, Don't you see. No one, no one, no saw, one saw that. Could you? I wish. No one saw anything. Then. No one saw anything. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look, it looks more homely. Um, 
So where was I up to? Yes, we're talking about different spells and uh, bits and bobs. So if you do have any um, ideas or anything that you've practiced yourself, please let me know either in the comments um, or either uh, go on to Facebook. Uh, my little Facebook username is Mary M H E. I don't have a Twitter right now because they locked it because I was under 13 when I did it. And yeah, my Instagram is Mary M Beatty. So awesome source. Um, Wendy from uh, Wendy M H E has just donated. To twenty pounds. Oh, Wendy! Oh, I miss you. I spoke to her um, the other day. Um, well, you should have right. Coffee, coffee. We need a coffee when this is all over. Thank you so much, lovely. I miss your face a lot. Um, so yeah, talking about meditation um, before we go on. But thank you so much, Wendy. That's really lovely. I wish I could give you a huge hug. Um, so when it comes to meditation. Um, I've been trying to do it, I've been getting better at it. Um, when I first began, I found it very difficult to stay still. Um, and another thing people don't talk about when it comes to meditation is that sometimes you get something called your shadow self, um, which is basically all those insecurities that you have, they'll come through your mind, they'll say, oh, you're not good enough for this. And people don't, in my eyes, they don't talk about um, how, that can impact your journey into meditation itself. A lot of people get put off because all they're doing is alone with their thoughts um, and that can make it hard for them to relax. So talking about going into um, or, or speaking, speaking to your um, shadow self, it is basically just that negative part of your mind that is saying, you're not doing this right, you're not doing that right um, and all that sort of stuff. But um, when it comes to meditation, I've learned to let it, I've learned to let it just come and go, come and go. And then eventually I'll find myself relaxing more and more. And that's when I will find myself in deep meditation. Um, and mum, you've also been, you've also been practicing meditation as well. And it's worked quite well for you as well, hasn't it? Oh yes, got lots of um, things coming through meditation. I can highly, highly, highly recommend meditation. And especially at this time, We've had a question from Heisenberg. Might be a bizarre question, but are there bad witches still? I would assume so, but no idea. Yeah. Um, well, I think it's like with anything, any practice, you're always going to get something, um, any sort of practice that you have, you're always going to do, you're always going to find people who do it for the wrong reasons. You're going to find people who will um, quite happily turn around and only use this craft for bad things, to hex people, to bind people, to um, use it for um, quote unquote bad. Um, but of course, it's like anything, you know, you'll have people who use football um, and being a fan of football to being a bad person or using that in some way to be bad. But you also have people who love football and they are really passionate about it and do it well. I don't know if that's really a right sort of thing to say, but I think it's, you know, you can have good and bad no matter what you believe in or what you do. You're always going to have those people there. Um, so, yeah, and I've been deeply practicing that. Um, I find that with me, it helps if um, I've got um, I've got a little bit of soft music playing in the background because it gives m my mind something to kind of relax to. Oh, Jackie Devitt has um, just donated six pounds sixty six 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 six. Oh, Jackie, thank you so much for my lovely gifts. By the way, that's really lovely. In fact, hang on, there we are. I've got my lovely present from you right here um, amongst my amongst my books. Um, and thank you so much for my pestle and mortar as well. Those are absolutely amazing. And the next time that we need to crush some eggshells, I will definitely be using that. What's that book then? Uh, this one. Yes, this that is looks very The Witch's Bible. Um, this basically has you know your 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 a to a to z of um of everything witchcraft it goes into detail of what the origins of witchcraft were i've only got into the first few um i've got to page 15 so we're, we're currently getting in there but it is the complete witch's handbook who, who are the authors and it is by janet and stuart farrar and hail press and hail press Oh, hey, well, I wondered where that was then, it's right here. Um, oh God. So yeah, you know, that's always interesting to have. I think books are probably the best and most reliable things to do when doing research on this because there are so many people on the internet who will take a piece of grass out the ground and just go, here you go, lovely stuff, use that for however you want. 
There you are. Patricia Adams Wright has donated twenty pounds to oh, you. Oh, thank you, Pat Patricia. That's really lovely. Thank you very much. Honest, I, 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 I can't express how lovely it really is that that people do that. But please don't don't feel like you have to. Um, like I don't, you know, in this time when not a lot of people are working, we don't. We're, we're all kind of going off of savings and such. Um, please, if you, if you know, I, I'm. I, I don't know how to express that, you know what I'm trying to say? But thank you so much. That is really lovely of you to do. Um, so, briefly... Maggie Morris has just donated £5. Pounds. <laughs> Good job. Thank you very much. Mandy? Maggie. Maggie. Thank you very much, Maggie. That's really, really lovely. Um, before we go on to our next section, is there any questions? Um, I'm looking for people in my past I've never met. Does this spell send them my way? Uh, this is to attract new friends. It might not be people who you have in mind. It might be all of a sudden you might just uh, have somebody that comes into your life and says, you look really lovely today. Um, why don't we go out for a coffee? Or in this sort of situation, it might be an old friend texting you to see how you are. And then it continues to go on from there. So, um, you know, it, it it's very loose in that sense. Um, I wouldn't say that when it comes, I saw a comment a while back on my Facebook page, which was, if I have old friends I haven't spoken to, there is a reason I haven't spoken to them. And I get that. I understand this spell is not to bring negative people who you have discarded from your life for a reason. This is to bring new friends in, um, make yourself a little bit happier. If you want new friends, a bit more of a social life. Um, and, it's, and it's nice to kind of widen your social circle. Um, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, uh, Becky Kirby has um, donated £10 with a, a question. Have you chosen uh, your divination yet? No, not yet. I am focusing more on research and doing simple spells. Um, so that is what I'm doing right now. However, in the future, I might just do that. So, yeah, it was, I'm, I'm, I'm quite excited. Stuart Harris has just donated £25, saying thank you for the streams every Wednesday, keeping us entertained in lockdown. Oh, thank you so much, Stuart, please. Oh, that's so lovely. That's so lovely. Thank you so much. I, 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 I don't know what to say, but as in genuine, thank you. Thank you. That's really, really lovely. Um, but uh, I, I, I honestly... I, I I don't know how to say. <laughs> well, they can, all this money can go towards books for your more and that's more very, books very and research and equipment. And that's very that true. You need. Now, uh, Fiona Green is asking: When the lockdown finishes, are you still going to keep up your witchy poo things going? Yes, <laughs> yes, I definitely am. Um, I think I'm actually going to maybe enjoy. Um, having that moment to sort of relax into talking about witchcraft a lot more because right now it's kind of you know most of my times just before I go to bed I'm looking up YouTube videos and, 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 and researching but every single Wednesday it is feels like a special day because I get to see you guys and I get to say hi to you guys um, which is wonderful so yeah very excited um, now I also wanted to talk about um, the first steps of witchcraft witchcraft and top tips mostly because I saw a lot of people saying um, I'm new to this hey I've just uh, come into this again I <clears throat> don't really know where I stand with it um, so I've combined a few little things that um, I um, that I sort of focused on first um, which was as I spoke before meditation to learn practice and put into your routine um, I still have to put it into my routine what I want to do is before I go to bed I would like to relax um, I want to um, I want to I want to be able to do it daily that is something that I would like to start doing um, second of all is research um, books are the best books are the best kind of research I think however if you're looking for um, some um, sort of free knowledge as it were the internet's always good as well as is YouTube but just take everything on you know your different pages on the internet with a pinch of salt because you never know if it's just someone who knows about witchcraft or somebody who doesn't um so yeah um and then this is what I've been doing uh, as you guys know which is practicing small simple positive spells um, I haven't done any big ones yet. I want to start. However, I don't think I'm ready for big spells yet. I want to keep on researching and such like that. Um, practice circle making along with connection to nature. Uh, we spoke about circles um, in um, 
uh, in the last one, in the last video that we did last Wednesday, um, which was how to protect ourselves when doing spells, allowing only positive energy in, um, and that is very important. Um, I did speak a little bit about it. However, it depends on you as a person. If you want to um, practice circle making and, and casting circles, that is for you to discover what fits you best. Um, and then learn different herb meanings and candle meanings and also learn the meanings of crystals, wood types and also incense types, um, which is something I mostly research, which is going into this little book that I've got here. Um, so, yeah. Now, I think it's time that we do our spell for anybody who is joining in. If you don't, if you just want to watch, that's awesome. Um, Definitely, I, I I think it would be fab for you to join in anyway. You know, um, Ruth, Ruth Weir has just said, love you Ruth, has just said uh, they, she likes the idea of simple spells, nothing too complex. Yeah. Uh, because she says she's easily confused and I think she's probably out there with a lot of people, mm -hmm. it is easy to get confused with this isn't it? Oh god yeah, I mean I remember when I first kind of started looking into this and you would see, uh, in you know, you go on different YouTube videos and there'd be someone saying right okay you need to have dried rose leaves uh, and um, two petals and then you need to sprinkle this and then charge your rainwater and the moonlight ten times and you think to yourself I, I, I'm you know you're not going to be able to do the bigger spells until you've let the smaller spells um, so that's what I think everybody should focus on if they are a beginner but what do I know? <laughs> Dorothy Matthew, Matthews has just donated ten pounds. Yeah, thank you so much Dorothy. And, and Dawn Louise Jones um, who we know very well, uh, Dawn Louise uh, Dawn's been uh, sort of involved in Most Haunted for years. Oh, hello, and Dawn. She said, um, you're, um, uh, you're very right. Research is the most important thing, and to know you're within READ, R-E-D-E. -E. Mm, exactly. Um, I think that to know the origins of witchcraft is probably one of the best places to start. Um, so I think I think I think that is probably the best thing I ended up doing was um, talking about well reading about that, uh, reading about how certain simple things can come into practice, what you can need, and I think oh I'm going to stress something as well um, from I'm not going to say who but I did see a few YouTube videos um, where people are actively saying you need to buy things you don't need to buy things at all um, most of the stuff that I've got here. I didn't buy. I either um, friends gifted them to me, or um, stole from your mother. <laughs> stole from my mother, um, or you know, I. It's very simple. You don't have to go and buy two hundred pounds worth of candles or crystals. You can just do what you want because it's all about intent. You don't need to buy loads and loads of different bits and bobs. Uh. James, James and James Laura, and Laura oh. just uh, donated twenty pounds towards crystals and candles. Oh, thank you so much, James and Laura. Oh, bless you. They're so kind. Honestly, I, I don't feel like I'm worthy enough for this, but thank you. I'm just happy that you guys are here, and that's really wonderful that you are. Um, so thank you for your donations. That's really, really lovely. Um, so yeah, th thank you so much. That's really, really nice. Um, so I'll do one last question, if that's okay, and then I'll crack on with the spell. Um, well, we've got lots of people um, asking about, um, I mean, one person's actually said uh, he he was uh, going to start uh, worshipping Satan because all the other avenues he's tried has failed. Now, is that, do you think that's an energy thing? I think it depends, um, because if you're worshipping something, and if that fits you um, and your life, then, you know, I don't think there is a problem as long as you are doing it with it positivity um as long as I, I always think that if you're going to practice something or worship something as long as you are trying to not harm anybody as long as you aren't going to hurt anybody in my my own opinion my own belief I think that do what you want um I think that at the end of the day it's your life and when it comes to energy I think that every single um, religion I think that every single craft I think every single practice is based on energy and intent um, I, I, I it, it's the same as faith if you have a faith you have intent behind that faith you believe wholeheartedly about that faith um, and therefore it is part of your life so anything uh, and just the last one, uh, Liz Brady has asked if you could do a list of uh, books for beginners and crystals at oh, some point. Oh, yeah, of course. Tell so you what, I shall do that next week, given me next week's video idea, which will be quite cool. Um, so we will do that. Um, now, 
Moving on to our just spell. Just before you do. Yeah. Royston Palmer, Mary just wants to fund your journey into witchcraft and wish you all the best. Much love to you all from here in Wexford Island. Ten, ten euros from Royston Palmer. That's so lovely. Oh, thank you very much, Royston. That's really, really lovely. Thank you. Honestly, <laughs> I don't, I don't really know what to say, but thank you. That is so lovely of you. I'm just so happy that you're enjoying this and and you know. Um, when I first started doing this, I was very, very nervous, but I'm, I'm happy that you guys are, are enjoying it. So, yeah. Um, right. Making friend spell. Uh, that's what I have it titled as here. Um, so you will need, I'm going over this again, um, a blank postcard or piece of paper, rectangular, hopefully, um, a gold or black pen, a bay leaf, some tape, a clear tape if you have it. Um, uh, and gold ribbon or string. Um, now, the nice thing about this spell is that um, it, it basically means that you can replace anything as you did before, as um, as as I said before in the last video. Um, so yeah, let's get started on that. I'm quite happy. Laura um, Wilkes, just before you start, she's saying she's really looking forward to tonight's spell and donated five pounds. Oh, lovely. Well, I'm so happy that you're here with me and thank you very, very much. It really is lovely. So thank you so much. Lovely that is really that, lovely. Laurie. Laurie, that like is that. a really, really lovely name. L-O-R-E-Y, we like that. Exactly. Right, crack on. I crack can't on. Wait. So what we're going to do is you're going to get your piece of paper Paper. Mine is A4, yours can be bigger, smaller, whatever it is. As long as you can uh, handle it well, that's all you need. Um, now, what you're going to need to do is you are going to write the word wanted on the top of your piece of paper. I know it sounds cheesy, however, kind of putting your intention behind there. Are you, no, 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 I mean, you can if you like, you don't have to. Oh, it's, 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 I'm quite happy to just sit and chat. Um, so we're going to write wanted right at the top of your paper. Um, now, the reason why I do this is because you have intent behind what you're writing. You want this person in your life or this group of people in your life. So um, we're going to stick that there and we're going to underline it. Now, if you have a black or gold pen, that's what you need to be writing it in. Anything uh, that we're writing today is going to be within that black or gold pen, which is what I'm doing. Um, now, what you're going to do now is list um, the traits that you want your new friends to have. Um, obviously, you know, don't be like, I want them to have green eyes and one eyelash because it <laughs> might be a bit difficult for you to find that person or for them to come to you. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write, ooh, I'm going to write loyal. Um, kind, um, sense of humor, sense of you gotta have a sense of humor, mm -hmm. sense of humor, sense of humor, trustworthy, trustworthy. By the way, this can be a, your own interpretation. I'm just writing what's quite you know good for me and all that sort of stuff. So, whatever you want. Um, that's what you'll write in this moment. Like Star Wars. <laughs> I think... <laughs> <laughs> like Star Wars, I want that. Um, trustworthy, so I've got kind, loyal, sense of humour, trustworthy, and I think also uh, adventurous. Mm. Adventurous. Adventurous. And then, once you've finished that, I'll do a few questions because I might, people might be writing a whole list. I don't know. Oh, so, so this is you probably answered this question, so please forgive me, but I'm asking you a question now. So can this be if you want um, a man or a woman in your life? Um, this is more of a friendship spell. Um, however, could who you, knows? Could you adapt it for love? Oh, yeah. Love? I think you could adapt it for love. Um, once again, it's all about intent for example if you want a man or a woman in your life then intend for that to happen with this i think there are more um adapt love spells um that you can do to bring somebody into your life um there are a few spells that can be very odd when it comes to love because the last thing people want is to cast a love spell on somebody who doesn't want that mm -hmm. um, and it can cause a lot of pain and upset for both parties from I've, what i've read anyway i've got i'm not pleased that's the name oh no i have i have green eyes and one eyelash <laughs> <laughs> you're the person then <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. Um, somebody else donated you some money uh, suzanne harris 
499, Mary, you're a breath of fresh air, so informative, really look forward to your videos, fantastic work. Oh lovely, who was that again? Um, that was from Suzanne Harris. Suzanne Harris, well thank you very, very much, that's really, really lovely, thank you. Um, oh. From Holland, says Sharon Klein. Hello that's Sharon! Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Um, Getting people globally now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, look, now, this is a very unusual name, so please forgive me. Classine or Classine Spikers? Please forgive me. I'm a doctor, so I'm going to try to cast for my family. Oh, that's fantastic. Once again, it's all about intent. If you want to bring a certain type of person, a certain group of people into your life, put your intent behind this. Um, something that might help as well. Um, once we finish doing this, I'll talk through it. But if you want to use a candle or anything that has a flame to draw energy from, it can be a water source as well or earth or whatever you want um, that can help fuel your intent. So it might make it a little bit more powerful, which is why I have this little candle here. But we'll go into that at the end of it, which is when we're going to do it. Um, okay, so shall we move on to the next step? Just one last one. Kirsty Lewis, Mary, my brother Scott Lewis is on here watching in London. Please could you wish him a happy birthday? So happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Scott. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Scott. Thank you for joining in. I hope you had a lovely day. Um, so yeah, and it's really, really lovely that you're spending your birthday with us. So yeah, ah, thank you. Hello. Actually, uh, Don Donna uh, Rowland has just this is a good good question. Uh, there's a full moon tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Does that make a difference to making spells? Uh, it's, it's, I know it does, it does with crystals. Um, well, I wanted to talk about this a little bit later, but it is the full moon tomorrow, officially. I know that um, it looks like a full moon tonight, however, it is tomorrow. Apparently, it's going to be at its peak at 8 o'clock. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Um, but when it comes to doing spells, the full moon gives us all energy. Um, I think the full moon, it, it's it's that time of the month, not that time of the month, but that time of the month that really powers the planet, in my eyes, powers us people um, and gives and gives so much to us. And I think that if you wanted to cast a spell on the full moon, like the previous spell from last week or tonight's spell, um, tomorrow, it sounds so weird and long, but then you can do it then and um, it will be powerful. Um, it also, if you, this, right, so what I've been doing is I've been trying to collect rainwater, which is very difficult right now because it's very, very summery outside. Um, but also I'm going to talk about rainwater a little bit later. Um, but if you have your rainwater, charge it in the full moon. And uh, yeah, I'll talk about that a little bit later. So awesome. Right. We're going on to the next step. I hope you've all finished with your lists. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our clear tape. We're going to take a little bit off that, like that. There's the scissors here. Take a little bit of that. Oh, God. Oh, it's gone everywhere. Right. I'm going to stick that there. Grab that bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab our bay leaf and we are going to stick it to the paper. Like so. I need to show everybody. Let me draw to film. Let me just. Okay, let me. I'll tell you what. Here we go. I have stuck the bay leaf right here onto the paper with my little cell tape there. So it is nice at the top. It's quite a big bay leaf as well. So you've got that. Now, once you've stuck that on there, um, you need to make sure it's well stuck down. So it's all in and sorted. Nice one. Now, this is where your string is going to come in handy because what you're going to do is you are going to roll this up into a cone. If you have a card, you can just fold it. That's fine. Um, but keep on rolling, 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 rolling until you have made it into a little cone like that with your little bay leaf in there as well. Um, so now we are going to get our string or ribbon if you have it. Do you want a ribbon? Uh, no, we're gonna use the string. I feel it looks a bit more rustic that way, doesn't it? <laughs> and we're going to tie it together um, like so. And then you can tie it whichever way you want. It doesn't have to be a bow, it can just be a simple knot which I'm going to be doing because I can't tie anything right. So I'm going to do that nice and tight. And that is what your finished product should look like, um, which is 
that this is your spell basically which is amazing now what you want to do with this afterwards is you're going to want to put this either in your bedroom windowsill um and hopefully it's going to be sunny tomorrow here over in england um so if we're going to put that in our bedroom window and we are going to put that to charge in the sunlight if it is not sunny where you are don't worry it's fine just leave it there until it is sunny um leave it there for 24 hours and then take it away and put it somewhere in your bedroom and and you are sorted and that is your friendship spell Yay. and so before we go any further what you might want to do before you go to bed is light a candle use your intent and use your intent and energy to make this think about the positivity that will come from this um and come from getting those those friends it's almost like you're charging this piece of paper up um so it does what you will um so yeah there you are that is our spell for today um winter witch has just said she's, she's giving some information out she said different spells are best performed in different moon phases new waning waxing and full all cover different spells she says sorry to keep talking but she gets so excited about her craft Aww. which Aww, i understand nice. and what what was her name again winter, That's witch. winter witch winter witch thank you very much for that winter witch um i'm looking into moon phases um, but I do know that the full moon, I'm very excited for it. Um, tomorrow night is going to be very good. I'm going to be doing all sorts, so I do apologise, parents. <laughs> Marco Di Noboli, that's a very, yeah, uh, says hello from Paris. Oh, hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Long time, most haunted fan. And we, I know we've already covered this, but it just made me giggle. Is there a spell that can help me find a girlfriend? Tinder is not working. <laughs> Or me and the mother, we had plenty of fun. Um, oh, no, wait, that sounds really, really weird. I'm not on Tinder. No, so I've got a well, few. No, I've got a few apps, very innocent, nothing naughty. And me and my mum have a great time um, seeing what messages have randomly come into my inbox, which is quite fun. But spell on love. In fact, that is what I'm going to be doing next week Yay. because I, um, I have actually. Speaking of it, yes, I've got it right here. Um, our next spell is going to be uh, making, um, it's not casting a love spell on somebody. For example, I, I, I wouldn't be able to, well, you can, but I'm not going to cast a love spell on Johnny Depp. I wish I could. Why not? Because he... I like Johnny. No, uh, no, that's no, because it's it's non-consensual. So he doesn't have any say in it. You know what I mean? Oh, you can't do that. So the other yeah. person needs to... Uh, well, it, it, the love spell that we're going to be doing is going to be to attract your soulmate um, into your life. Um, and also, uh, we might do the um, spell on being able to get the first initial of your... Um, of uh your of your intended soulmate which would be quite cool um so yeah we're going to be doing that and i'll speak through the um the ingredients for that um towards the end of the video does anybody have anything to say yeah david jones says bloody hell you look like your mum <laughs> both, both beautiful oh well, julie g is sent um, 10 pounds oh no, lovely no, no question just a uh, just 10 pounds oh thank you oh, very much know. julie another one just come in Laura Martin, another £10 donated. Our landlord ripped out some trees from our garden today. We're very sad about it. Are there any spells to apologise to nature and encourage regrowth? Love from Denise, Leanne and Laura from Sussex. Suffolk. Sorry. Well, actually, yes. Um, there is a lot of spells that can be done when it comes to nature and nurturing nature, which sounds very, very odd. Um, but no, that's awful. That I, I, I don't like stories where, where trees have just been ripped oh, up and, and all that sort of stuff because they've, they've been there longer than <laughs> most of us. So yeah. I hate hearing about that. Um, but so maybe, maybe you could do a spell in, in a couple, in a you know, in a couple of in programs a, time about that. that. I think um, a lot of nature spells are mostly a hands-on job. Um, it is being able to appreciate the earth, um, using your intent, um, also making sure um, that when it comes to maybe you want to plant a tree again if you want to do that that's awesome um but also be aware that there can be spells out there that will help grow nature however it also helps if you do a little bit of the work as well for example i could go outside and wish for three months that a tree would grow outside my window however it would probably work a lot faster if i planted a little sapling there as well and then use my intent to help that grow um so yeah um anything else before we say goodbye to everybody um no 
um, uh, Winter Witch is saying if ever you need anybody to chat with Mary, I'm always happy to help. If I can't, oh. I have plenty of people who can. It's all about learning, and I think that's really important, isn't it? Definitely. Winter Witch, definitely going to be hitting yeah. you up. Awesome. Um, Luke Pottinger, hi, hope you're all right with this virus around. Stay home, be good, uh, be safe. God bless. Oh. Um, Winter Witch, I'd love to help. Um, oh. Brinsley saying, I just got here as it's wrapping up. Oh, Saturday. bless you. Sarah McClare and says, good night, Mary. Uh, Bullshit Detector says, goodbye and thank you. Ruth Weir, it's all over too soon. Well, I'll tell you what. I need to talk through the last spell before I do go anywhere. So save your goodbyes. Stay here just for two more seconds and we'll talk through what you're going to need for next week, yeah. um, which is going to be, this might be a little bit more... Um, it, it might be a bit more difficult to get certain things. However, there is always a replacement. Um, so what you're going to need for next week is going to be, you're going to need a jar again. Uh, you're going to need rosemary. You're going to need eggshells, our favourite. You're going to need dried rose petals. Now, it also says that you don't really need the rose petals um, because you will have the rosemary. However, if you have a pink candle, that can also suffice. And if you have a pink candle in, ge in general, that is what we're going to be using to seal the jar. So we're going to be doing that next week. Um, and uh, we're going to be using the pink candle for trying to find out our soulmate's uh, first initial. If you're married, then that's just hope that it comes up with your husband's or wife's initial, otherwise it's going to be proper. <laughs> um, but no, um, I'm very excited for next week and I thank you so much for coming along. It means the world to me that you guys actually uh, enjoy listening to me waffle on and uh, to say hi. Um, so yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for joining along. So yes, I, I will leave you in peace um, and I will, uh, I will, um, I'll let you be and be and be safe. Be safe, please, for me. Please be safe. Um, and that is that is me. So I'm going to say goodbye. And as always, blessed be my fellow people. And I shall see you soon. Goodbye. 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 How do I turn this thing off? Uh, oh, goodbye. There we go. Found it.